Hey guys, um, Amy, uh, Simple Star Gengar here, and I'm here with my good buddy Corn, and today we're gonna be discussing, um, Rayman versus, um, Sonic, and I'll be repping Rayman, and Corn will be repping Sonic, so, without further ado, I'm gonna let Corn start with Sonic, and then I'll take on Rayman. Yeah, and this is just gonna be best Sonic just to keep things interesting. So starting off, we know in terms of attack power, Sonic easily has several solar system level feats, like fighting, you know, one of the overlord mind, one of the overlord overmind leaders, you know, power one by the great emeralds, which, uh, you know, was able to blow out the black hole, the black hole sun, the cyclone, the black sun, which did the wormhole, you know, you have stuff like, Defeating Team Baby Lon Black O, and there's those like there's also a lot of consistent Universal Plus stuff that I would honestly go with like Sonic and Base being able to uh, survive Time Eater, destroying a space time continuum, defeating Eraser the Jin who was manipulating about to destroy a, a universe in the Arabian Nights reality, you know, defeating the Ifrit Golem who was stated to be able to burn. One of the universes down in the Arabian Nights reality. He beat Infinite, who casually created Null Space, which is a space type of space of nothing uh, that goes on a prison that goes on forever. So right there, another Universal Plus feat. And in terms of speed, we know Sonic has infinite speed in his base form. This is fair because he also has a more than one immeasurable speed feat. But, like, some, to meet in the middle, we'll say infinite. This is shown during Sonic and the Secret Rings when he crossed uh, this dimension that was inside of Eraser to Jin's stronghold. This dimension is confirmed to be have infinite space. And Sonic crossed this infinite space in a finite time with no effort, you know, giving him infinite speed. Uh, in terms of hacks, obviously he has time break. He used Chaos Emeralds. To BFR people outside of time and space, send them into different dimensions. He can, you know, chaos control. He has great sensory capabilities, able to fight intangible beings, you know, non physical beings via being able to fight characters like Boo. He's easily able to adapt to opponents very quickly. He's a master martial artist, knows MMA fighting styles. Uh, uh, great with literature, loves to read, very intelligent, just all. All straight badass. So with that out of the way, well, he, he's also a master swordsman. He actually defeated the Knights of the Round Table themselves with less than a day of training. So now with that out of the way, I think Simple can talk about Rayman. All right. So for Rayman, I'm going to quickly head over and start with the scaling. Um, He's able to punch ma ma Dark Magician all the way to the farthest constellation. Um. He's also able to um, uh, keep up with the rabbits and beat them consistently. And the rabbits were able to create their own universe and even create a god and then erase them. Which, that, that god was just universal. Like, probably like universal plus because of the, yeah. Time, space, um, and when and that on, doesn't Rayman have a universe in his TV that the rabbits, like, were able to affect? Yeah, the rabbits, the rabbits, um, yeah, they create, like, universes inside the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and as for speed, well, Rayman can, like, dodge lasers. He, like I said, through the theme sea all the way to the far constellation. Maybe FTL uh, reaction, and he's also been able to keep up with in interstellar travel, um, pirate ships. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Um, as for hags, he can shape shift. He has elemental hags. He has um, yeah, those are like his most notable hags. He just has like a like a couple of elemental hags. Yeah, so I mean, what would you say? Would you say any of that would really, like, 
because in terms of hacks for Sonic, I would say like he could easily BFR Rayman. Does he have any like way to get out of that? Like he could send Rayman outside of time and space with Rayman having a way to come back. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, because they have similar APs. Either way, you scale it with the solar. Like even like I said, even Rayman's TV has a little like universe in it too, and like he can just be able to carry that stuff around. So they are able to trade Yeah, blows, he also but hurt Pokalus too, so yeah, that's an add to his elemental stuff. I mean, Sonic has adapted to stuff like that before, and Yeah, like like electricity, water, fire, all of that. easily. And what really happens here is like the speed blitz. Like if if Rayman's only like finite numbers, like billions. Trillions of times, even quadrillions of times the speed of light. I mean, like infinite speed is literally infinitely above that, you know. And like, there's even a calc for Sonic that puts him around like octillions of times. So even like low balling with finite speeds, he would still be like octillions of times. But again, like it's just pretty easy to say infinite speed because considering the consistent and measurable speed feats he's shown. So I would say in the middle ground, you know, infinite speed comes down to like him blitzing. Right, be able to like do more. He has their hacks. I would say, you know, what would you say to that? Would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree with that. Like Yeah. blitz and hacks, like they have similar AP. Rayman can sure he can trade blows, but he's just not fast enough. And I would say Sonic Yeah, is overall he would a better fighter he would like and way more intelligent. Like he's been able to like out like martial arts. Like Knuckles, who's a master martial artist, he's even yeah. called goes yeah as went as far as to say Knuckles is easy to read, and Knuckles is a master martial artist. So, yeah, I guess I'd say like he's more those, skilled. yeah, like. I don't know if I can give this, like, advantage, like, this is, like, just experience, like, Rayman, older, but that's a, that doesn't really mean, like, Yeah, he might have more experience. 